Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to, I guess, a summary of my Ultimate Team journey this year, aka my road to glory on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Maybe you're new to the channel or maybe you just haven't really understood what the main goal of uh, my series in FIFA 17 was. And so I'm going to very quickly run over what the series was, how we sort of set it up, what the plan was, how we managed to achieve it, I guess, sort of quickly this year. There are some years where I have to rush it at the end just to finish the series, but this has been done in plenty of time. Uh, and also what my future plans are for the rest of the series and the rest of Ultimate Team this year, because obviously now that the main goal is done, people are saying, now what? Uh, so I'm going to hopefully answer those questions. Uh, very quickly, uh, to catch up with a couple of other things that have happened. Obviously, I went away for a week. I actually recorded this before I went away. And uh, the scheduled uploader, just it's terrible on YouTube. It doesn't work half the time. So that video never went live. So I'm re-recording it because I want to update you guys on a couple more things. And I also feel I left a few things out of that video. So... Uh, I've got 43,000 coins, but it doesn't matter because all of that is going into an SBC right now. The main goal is done. I don't need to buy any players. So, in terms of where we're at, uh, look at our record this year. It's so much better than it's like ever been before. Foot Champions has been super, super fun. Now, last weekend, obviously, is when I went away on holiday, so I barely had enough time to even get 18 wins, but I did it, so I got automatic qualification for this weekend. But this weekend, I was coming back from holiday. I didn't get home on Saturday until, like, I don't know, whatever time it was. I was out basically all day Sunday, so I didn't have enough time to play all my games at all either. So the weekend that's literally just finished, it's Monday now, um, I only played 23 games, I went 18 and 5, got my 18 wins and just thought, you know what, let me watch the rest of the Super Bowl and then go to bed. So, I could have done better than that, but I feel I'm good enough to still get Elite Monthly um, whilst letting myself just relax and not have to play till like 6am in order to finish my games. So, only, only 18 wins, I'll still take that, that's still 30,000 coins, a 50k pack and 2 mega packs, I'm happy with that. So, that's Foot Champions. Uh, anything else to catch you up on, really? I guess SBCs, uh, right now, if you don't know, the one to watches are out for winter. Uh, a few ones like Gabriel Jesus, uh, you've got Dimitri Payet, Draxler, players like that that have transferred in the winter. But what I'm doing is the untradeable summer SBC. I think I've run it 18 times now. And basically all you need to do is keep retrading in the same one to watch player and then you have to buy an 82 rated squad to build around them. It's very, very simple. So I have been doing that. Like I said, I've done it 18 times now. The current one I've got is John Stones. I've had Pjanic, I've had Mane, Milik, uh, Guiliano, etc, etc. Nobody, I guess Pjanic is pretty good, but nobody insane. I The dream would be to get Pogba, obviously, but I really want that Kante. I'm probably going to run it a few more times and then potentially just give up. Uh, I don't know, but I want that Kante so much because I'd use him. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm spending my coins on. Uh, the other league SBCs, I will eventually do those and complete those as well. All of them will be done. Now, let's get back to the main series. So if you're new to the channel and you don't understand what the series was or how it worked, let's very quickly brief you on what it was. So the main goal suggested by Josh... Uh, at the start of the year was to build the highest rated starting 11 from the top 15 nations in the world. So uh, this is just normal gold cards, no legends or special cards unless I've packed them or got them along the way through an SBC, etc, etc. So the top 15 nations you can see on the screen right now, we have built the best starting 11 from each of these. Now, what I'm going to do is do a dedicated stream, now that the main goal is complete, to each of these squads. So, for example, tomorrow will be the first stream of one of these teams, and it will be Argentina. We'll just go through them in order. Or maybe we'll go the other way, actually. Maybe we'll work up from the bottom up. So we'll start off with Mexico and go from 15 to number one. That may be a little bit better. So we'll probably do that. And tomorrow we will start and do a dedicated stream uh, to each team and we will do 15 streams. Now, once that is done, then I'll get on to what the main goal is. Uh, well, going forward. So, as it stands, these are the 11, uh, 15 teams even. So, Argentina, decent little team right here. Okay, a few players that aren't insanely good. And Saudi, Zavaleta, Ruli, etc. But the forward line isn't bad. I hate Higuain in this game, but still an 88-rated card. 
Dybala, Aguero, Messi and Gaitan is pretty solid. So Argentina should be a fun one to use. Belgium's team is pretty crazy. It's just a shame that they don't have a better left back or right mid. Um, I, some people were saying, oh, use like Carrasco as a right mid. But I wanted to use the players that actually fit that position. So their defence is pretty solid. I apologise about that. That should be turned off. Uh, we've got Hazard, De Bruyne, Lukaku, Nainggolan. Some really, really nice players in there. Obviously, you could have a much better team if you had legends, informs, etc. But that's way too expensive, okay? The Germany team also, again, has got some solid players in it. It's a shame that Hector seems to be the best compared to the ratings of the other players. You then have Hector. But it's fine. You've got people like uh, Royce, Tony Cruz. It's a shame that he's a bit too slow, but he's still a solid uh, CDM. Mesut Ozil, Boateng and Neuer, two of the best players in the game. Absolutely incredible. Uh, then we move on to Colombia. Obviously, with a team like Colombia, you've only got like a few standout players. So, James Rodriguez, obviously. Carlos Baca. I did get this Falcao in my monthly rewards, which is pretty nice for the series, I guess. He's not really going to be used outside of this series. So, it'll be good to use him for a dedicated stream. Brazil's team is not too bad. Thiago Silva, one of the best centre-backs on the game. Top four for me uh, from what I've used. Neymar is incredible. I use him as a striker in the main team that I use. And you can see he's involved in about a goal a game uh, at striker, which is really, really nice. Even though he does get subbed off from time to time. So Brazil's team, you'd expect it to be a little bit better, in my opinion. Like... It's Brazil, man. I mean, their defence, in terms of ratings, is really, really good. But the rest of it, you know, Firmino and Jonas up front. Eh, maybe in the future you'll have, like, Gabriel Jesus and he'll end up being, like, an 88-rated player in the future. I don't know. Uh, next, we move on to Chile. And obviously, you've got Arturo Vidal and Alexis Sanchez. They're the two standout guys in Chile. Pretty simple, really. Portugal's team. Now, this series would not have been done if it were not for my pack look this year. It would have taken me way longer because I've packed some really, really nice players. Like, for example, someone that isn't insanely expensive but still quite a bit. David De Gea is like 100k. Griezmann is like 200k. Um, but I also managed to very early on get Ronaldo. When I got gold one for the first time, uh, I opened up that 100k pack. Cristiano Ronaldo popped out. And my God, he is just incredible. So... That is the main reason why this series is actually completed months before the end of FIFA for like the first time ever. But this Portugal team doesn't look that bad. Like Nani Ronaldo and then the 86 silver. His card looks decent. He's actually got an 87 now, I believe. I might be wrong. I think that he does have an 87 as well. He's absolutely smashing it. His team of the season card could be really, really good. Decent midfield as well. Uh, decent defence and Rui Patricio's okay. But Portugal, yeah, Ronaldo was pretty good to get in a pack. Now, we move on to the, in my opinion, best team that will be in this series by far. Look at this squad. So Hugo Lloris, unfortunately, doesn't live up to his rating this year. He's, he's not incredible. Kazawa is great. Koscielny is great. Perrine's card looks solid. Haven't really used it. Sanya's incredible. Pogba is a god. Vieira, the best centre defensive mid on the game by far. Matuidi, awesome. Payet, one of my favourite cams this year. Lacazette, incredible. Griezmann, incredible. That France team is crazy. That is one where... I don't know if I will sell these players once this series is done. Uh, I'll get on to that in just a minute. Uh, in terms of what I plan to do after we've done all of these dedicated 15 streams. Uh, Uruguay, obviously the main guys are uh, Godin, Cavani and Suarez who I'm also using in my main team right now, doing pretty well. Again, involved in about a goal a game, even though he does get subbed off um, nine times out of ten if I'm making subs. Now, Wales, obviously, it's... Well, it's Bales, isn't it? I mean, he's, he's just a beast. So, <laughs> that's the Wales team. The rest of it is not that impressive. Let's not lie about that one. Spain's team is not too bad, including a pack pool Thiago... Uh, right here, that David Villa card, that Juan Fran card looks solid as well. It's a really, really nice team, and uh, I'm going to hopefully have a lot of fun using it. Uh, before it was Adaris, but I thought I'd chuck David Villa in because he's just a legend. He used to be one of my favourite players when he was at Barca. The guy is just a beast, so I really want to use that card. Uh, next, we move from Spain to England. Our team isn't that bad. It's not incredible. I mean, John Terry, he's, he's, he 
is so slow. Uh, but one of my favourite players this year, Nathaniel Klein, the player that I have played the most games with on Ultimate Team this year, 818 games. Every single stream, uh, I get asked, oh, why do you use Klein and not Kyle Walker? I've used him for that many games. I think you can tell I like this card. I want him to get an inform more than anybody else on this game because he would be incredible. Chris Smalling's a god as well. I want to use this Hammers Milner card because <laughs> he could be pretty nice. Uh, pack pulled Adam Lalana. I've actually got the red version of that as well. And that Sterling card is pretty nice. So not bad, the England team right there. Okay, it could be a lot better. But hey, it, it's not too shabby. And then down to the last three, we've got Italy. Uh, this three at the back, I absolutely despised it when I played with it a couple of times. Uh, how many games did I play? Um, oh, one with that Buffon. How many have we played with Chiellini? Eight games. I just didn't like it. It didn't work for me. Uh, normal Buffon didn't seem that different to um, this SBC Buffon, but... Maybe we'll do a little bit, than, uh, bit better the next time we use it. Uh, Croatia's team is obviously up next. That informed Brozovic would have been really nice to get his central card, but we've still got two gods in the middle in Rakitic and Modric. Uh, Mandzukic is pretty decent as well. Kalinic has got a nice inform, as does Perisic, but obviously they're not needed for this series. So last team now, we move on to Mexico. And this may, like I say, be the first team that I use in a dedicated stream tomorrow. You will see tomorrow what appears in your sub box. It's either going to be Mexico or Argentina. Maybe you guys can comment down below. Which do you think would be better to go from number one to number 15 or from number 15 to number one in terms of their ratings in the world rankings? Uh, so this is obviously Mexico. You've got Chicha, who is their main guy. Leun's card looks really, really nice right there. And then I got uh, an untradeable Lozano as well. So that is the series main goal complete. So what am I going to do moving on? Now, I've got a couple of teams right now. I mean, actually, let me very quickly show you this. This is all the people that I've got pack pulled. Well, the highest rated people that I've got pack pulled. So these help the series a lot and save me a lot of coins. David De Gea, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Griezmann, Ronaldo, Patrick Vieira. People like Higuain, Inform Thiago, Lukaku, Nainggolan. We've got some really, really nice pack pulled players this year. And my pack look has just been absolutely insane. Like on another level of good this year. So like I say, that saved us a lot of time. Uh, the main team that I'm using right now is this 4-3-3 that transforms into a 4-1-2-1-2 with Messi going to Cam. Uh, Neymar and Suarez up front. That's what I used in the last two foot champions. Obviously didn't get really... A full attempt because I just haven't had the time to play all my games. But still very, very good. Thiago Silva is incredible. Uh, and then the one last thing I guess to show you um, is what we're going to do next. So once we've done the 15 live streams, what I'm going to do is decide, you know what? Is this player good or do I not really care about them anymore? So let's go to a random team, Croatia. Once I've done the stream with Croatia, maybe I will think, you know what? Uh, actually, he's packed pulled, so that doesn't work. Uh, Modric. Maybe Modric is terrible. I bought him a hell of a long time ago for 80k. He's probably worth about 10,000 coins at this stage. But maybe I don't think that he's very good, and I will get rid of him. So, what these dedicated streams are going to be, and I'll probably play a little bit off stream as well with each of the teams, just to sort of give them a fair run in, like, Division 1 or something. What I'm going to do is think... Oh, is this guy worth keeping in my club? Am I actually going to use him in any teams? For example, like an Eden Hazard. Do I need him when I've got Ronaldo, Neymar, Royce, etc.? Maybe, maybe not. I could get like 100,000 coins back if I get rid of him. So once I've done all of these streams, I'm going to basically gut the club of the people that I don't think that I'm going to use or want in the future. So this is why it's a little bit hard for me to say exactly what the next goal is for me in this series. Because I have no idea how many coins I'm going to have. I could only have like 100k. Or I could be up to like a million coins. I honestly, it's impossible for me to say. Because I don't know how good someone like Aguero is going to be. Maybe he's going to be an absolute god and I'm going to want to use him in loads and loads of teams. Or it'll be crap and I'll get like 200,000 coins back. So what I've got set up is a dream team. And this is the kind of thing that I'm going to be working towards now that the main goal of the series is done. The only thing that I cannot say is the extent of the Dream Team and how 
uh, how to explain it, how difficult it's going to be. For example, depending on how many coins I have when I sell everybody off, the main goal may be cut down massively, and I may get rid of these Team of the Years, uh, and it may just be normal Modric, Ramos, Marcelo, um, people like that. And then my main goal will shift to just get that Team of the Year, Luis Suarez. I don't know, it's impossible for me to say, uh, but we will find out once these streams are done. So the plan is to do them like roughly every two days, etc. Uh, but I, I don't know how easy it's going to be to fit all of them in. I may potentially just sort of scrap foot draft streams for a couple of weeks, just so that each day I can move on to a new team and start to do a stream with those, because then we could actually get through it in a couple of weeks rather than it taking like a month and a half <laughs> to get through every single one of these 15 teams. So that's what we're going to do, dedicated stream for each team. Then I am going to go and sell all the players that I don't think are that good. And then I'm going to go for some kind of a dream team. Like I say, whether it is as ridiculous as this with millions and millions of coins, or whether we just go for one dream player in like that team of the year, Luis Suarez right there. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I will, like I say, also be doing things like the league SBCs. So I've got uh, all of these left to do. I've done a couple of teams in each of them, uh, but still a long, long way to go. I'm going to keep trying to get this um, Kante slash Pogba in this. I'll probably give it a few more goes. Probably use my 43,000 coins that I've got right now and see what I can do there. But I think for now that is going to wrap it up. So if you have any questions, be sure to put them, uh, put them in the comments section down below and I will do my best to answer all of them. But the main goal of the series is complete and it was completed in January. Compared to me normally in my series... I don't normally finish a lot of them, um, so to actually get something done that easy, uh, that early, I guess, it was massively helped out by Pack Look, don't get me wrong, but it feels really, really nice, uh, and thank you to Josh for the idea, because I think it's a really, really nice one, and it's going to be a lot of fun using these different teams and different players, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series, obviously it's going to continue with this new main goal once we have done our dedicated streams. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it and have enjoyed the series so far, hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. Uh, if you're new to the channel and want to see more, you can subscribe. I'll see you guys later for a live stream. Goodbye.